everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Darlene. Today I'm going to be reviewing another product from Panda Haul. I did review these saucers earlier. I got three products. This was the first one that I reviewed. And now I'm going to show you um, the hydroponic um, system that I got for when I propagate my plants. I've seen this and I thought it was so awesome. For these, it retails for $15.12. Super, super cheap. I literally seen some at Walmart just for a little one. And it was way more than that. It was like 20 something, almost 30 bucks. So this is how they came wrapped. They wrapped everything super, super well. Um, that they sent off. I do think it comes from China, but you have got to check out this site. I will link everything in the description box below, but everything is like super, super cheap and you can buy things in bulk and just everything is super good quality and it's amazing. So it came with two little wood things like this. And then this is the vase that goes inside of it for like literally $15. This is amazing. This is exactly what I needed. So this is the part, the top part. So it goes exactly like that. And then you'll put whatever you're propagating in there and let it grow some roots. So let me go ahead and open this one as well. I'm so excited about this. Just look how pretty, like this is a really, really pretty wood stain. Like that's so pretty. So just like that. So it comes with two for 15 bucks. And I'm gonna kind of show you, um, I'm gonna go get some of my plants and I'm going to show you what it looks like with the plants in it. Okay, so this is how you would do it. You just fill it up with water. And this is a Monstera Addisonii. And you just place it in there. This actually had no roots. I actually cut this off for my mother-in-law because she's been wanting one of these and it did turn a little brown just because I did cut it and it wasn't getting no nutrition like no nutrients or anything but when you do as you can see it's starting to grow a root right there so this leaf will eventually fall off which is fine but it'll grow more roots and that's the good part so this is what these things are made for. So I think that's super cool. So this was actually, I just had it in my um, pothos, um, but I had it growing in this. Most of the time, like when you first start out, you can put it in water like this, but when the roots do get bigger, you're gonna wanna use a jar like this. This is actually just a candle um, holder. And I think they look absolutely gorgeous for these. I will actually leave this in water. I'm not gonna take it out. If anything, I may put it in Lekka, in like a nursery pot and put it in this, but I'm not going out. I think this looks really, really pretty as is. And it does a lot better. It was grown in water. So what I did is I took it out of water, I put it in soil and it got root rot. So because it's grown in water, it's just like, they're really, really acceptable to root rot. So I just put it back in water and I'm going to get the nutrients that it needs, um, hopefully today. I already bought it off Amazon and it was supposed to be delivered Saturday, but it wasn't. So I'm hoping that I get it today and you just add nutrients to the water and you don't have to water every single day. And it's a lot better for like, if you're vacation and stuff. Um, I, like I said, I am going to go hydroponic or Leka. I'm going to show you a plant that I'm actually growing in Leka. So if you do like go hydroponic like this, or this is actually propagating is what you would call this. Um, 
you can eventually just move it to like a, this is like a, just a, a planter that I put my plant in. But this plant right here got root rot as well. Um, and I put it in LECA. And then this is just a candle that I used and took out the candle wax, wax cleaned it really well. And so I put the water in here and LECA is just like these little clay balls. And the water should only go like about like a quarter away, maybe a little bit more up. And then the LECA will absorb the water into the roots. And it's already looking a lot better. Like a lot of the leaves were yellowing. And it's, like I said, it's looking a lot more pretty. But that's what I'm going to do with most of my plants. Um, I am going to keep like my um, Gloriosum. Like I said, in soil, it's doing really, really well in soil and it has that new growth point and I don't wanna make this plant unhappy. So I am going to keep this in soil unless something happened and it got root rot or something and I had to. That's the only way I'll ever move that to like a, just because I love that plant. Um, it's one of my favorites. I say that about all plants, but it is one of my favorites. Um, but yeah, let me put this back. But yeah, I think that these are super cute. Great for propagating when you're first starting out. Um, when it does grow a ton of roots, you're not going to be able to keep it in this um, for too long because the roots grow pretty quick. But it's great for starting out if you're wanting to start propagating. And then when they get a little bigger, you can move it to something like this. And then when these get bigger, if you want to, you can pot them. Um, I know a lot of people are against hydroponic um, plants, but I have better luck growing my plants in water than I do soil. I got a very, very heavy watering hand. And it's crazy like the way this works because if you plant, if you if the soil's too wet, that's what causes root rots, but you're allowed to put the roots completely in water and they grow. It doesn't make sense, but that's the way it works. But yeah, that completes this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell down in the corner below. That way you'll be notified every time that I do upload a video. But until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye. God bless.